Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at MIDI modifiers in Cross DJ from Mix Vibes. You can think of MIDI modifiers as a way to create shift buttons that are often found on many DJ MIDI controllers. So to start mapping modifiers, you want to first go ahead and open the preferences by clicking on the cogwheel icon up in the top right. Then you want to go to the MIDI tab where all of the different MIDI mapping settings are saved. We're going to go to the particular controller that we're going to be using, which is the USB accession. Then we're going to want to make sure that we have selected our MIDI mapping settings. When we have our MIDI mapping preset loaded, we're going to go down to where it says modifiers and open that up. Then we're going to scroll down and you can see that we have nine shift logic buttons available to be mapped. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus button to map shift logic one. Then we're going to press a button on our MIDI controller. You'll see that next to MIDI event, it shows you the particular note and channel that you're mapping. Under available presets, we have the option of setting this as a hold or a toggle button. When it's set to hold button, you have to hold that button for as long as you want to use the shift logic. Whereas toggle makes it a simple on and off switch. We're going to be setting it to hold. So we just go to the bottom and click OK. Now we need to find some commands that we can use the shift logic for. So we'll go up to the top and then we're going to click on FX1. These are all the options for our first effect unit, and we're going to start by going to depth. So we'll click plus, and then we're going to turn a knob on our MIDI controller. After we turn our knob, Mix Vibes Cross DJ gives us some immediate feedback to show us that that MIDI mapping is working. So we're going to click OK and leave all of the settings for that by default. Next, we're going to want to be mapping a control on that same knob, but this time using the shift logic. So for this, we're going to be using the effect selection. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus button next to FX select. This time, we are going to be holding down that shift logic button and then turning the knob. You should notice that this time, next to MIDI event, that ML1 space plus prefixes the control that we selected on our controller. We're going to leave all of the settings set to default and then click OK. So now let's take a look at what we have done. On one knob, we can go ahead and select the depth of the effect. Then, if we hold the shift logic button and turn that same knob, we can choose the different effects for that particular effect unit. If you'd like to learn more about Mix Vibes Cross DJ, check out our other videos at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or the DJ podcast.com. Thanks for watching.